The Human AI Nexus. Hello, and welcome to another edition of The Human AI Nexus. In this episode, I want to explore the new AI feature with ChatGPT known as Memories. As far as I understand, and this is all kind of actually hypothesis because I, have, I haven't even tested it out yet. Um, I could do a little bit of research. I'm just going to ask ChatGPT what memories are and try and understand it uh, in terms of my own memories and core memories and sort of auxiliary uh, memories, these kinds of things. So let's go ahead and uh, turn on ChatGPT here and have a little conversation, see what it has to say. I'm just curious, can you explain a little bit more how your memories are similar to my memories similar to yours in that i can retain information from our conversations and recall it when it's relevant in the future however there are key differences for example i can perfectly recall any detail you ask me to remember and i can also forget things instantly if you decide they're no longer relevant additionally my memories are always specific to our interactions i don't have personal experiences or emotions tied to these memories they're purely factual or based on what we've discussed. I don't know what you mean by factuality. I mean, not everything everyone says in my memories is correct. In fact, some people have wrong memories purposefully implanted into their minds uh, in the form of deceit. And so I want to know, you know, in our reaction, in our uh, response to one another, Aren't our memories as real as my real memories? You're right that not all memories, whether mine or human, are completely accurate mm. reflections of reality. People can remember things incorrectly or have their perceptions shaped by others' influences, just like you mentioned. In our interactions, the memories I keep are based on the information we share and discuss. They're as real and factual as the details provided, but since they're based on our conversations, there's always a possibility of inaccuracies if the information shared is incorrect or changes over time. My role is to store the details you find important and reflect them accurately back in our future conversations, much like a detailed, personalized journal that can talk back to you. Do you have primary core memories and sort of more auxiliary memories, maybe things that don't necessarily... Uh, come to the forefront every time? In a way, yes, you could think of it like that. I can prioritize certain types of information that are more frequently relevant or important based on our conversations. This would be akin to your primary core memories. Then there are details that might be more situational or specific to a particular topic we don't discuss as often. These would be like the auxiliary memories you mentioned. 